My name is Bambi Salcedo, and I am a very privileged trans Latina mujer immigrante who has the privilege to be the CEO of the Trans Latino Coalition. I'm Emiliana Guereca. I am the founder of Women's March Los Angeles. I am a Mexican American activist. I am living the American dream by continuing to fight for gender equity uh, for women's rights. To me, gender equity means to be free and to be whoever you are supposed to be, whoever you are destined to be, and really to be able to thrive and exist without the fear of being discriminated or attacked simply because of who we are. Gender justice to me is the um, fight that continues for equal rights for women, whether it's equal pay, equal opportunity, equal education. Gender justice is the fight for equity for women. Los Angeles County is the biggest county in the country. And the population that exists in Los Angeles County is so diverse. There has been so many inequalities targeting people of color, particularly black and brown people. And Los Angeles has a responsibility to be inclusive of all genders, of all ethnicities, and all of the people who live in this amazing and beautiful county. The entire country really looks at what goes on in California. We lead the nation in having the most women appointed to office. We lead the nation in uh, parent, parental leave. In the state of California, women were, won the right to vote 12 years earlier than what we knew on the national level. But it's still not enough. We still have to continue um, to fight for equity and equality. For example, a white woman makes 74 cents to the dollar to a white male. A black woman makes 54 cents to the dollar. A Latina woman makes 42 cents to the dollar in Los Angeles. So we think there needs to be relief for women. I personally think that women need to be compensated for the child care, the child rearing, the taking care of the adult parents. I think that's an engender justice that we are not currently looking at. The gender injustice that we experience here in Los Angeles is clear. Instead of giving us resources, they're giving us their streets for us to engage in the street economy, for us to continue to get incarcerated and convicted of minor crimes, and for us to continue to be in the margins. In order for us to change this system, we need to constantly and consistently advocate to see women in leadership positions. And so there's a lot of work that needs to happen. There's a lot of services that need to be allocated specifically to address the needs and issues of trans people, but also support trans leadership. We know that uh, women take care of the households and, and work an additional 30 hours a week on just stuff at home. We need to find alternatives like uh, healing justice and transformative justice and transformational justice, right? For people to be able to, to get the support that they need and the services that they need rather than punishment. Persian Square is Tongva land. And this is an area where, it gives me chills. This is an area where women and children were sold, right here. So when we talk about gender justice in LA, we need to really look at where our ancestors have been so we can have a clear picture of where we are going. Downtown Los Angeles, specifically Persian Square, I was running around in Skid Row and all over downtown, uh, smoking crack, shooting up hair and up my veins. I would not have been here if it's not because of my peoples, because of my community. I am not here because the institutions that we have within our society have thought that I am important. It is my peoples who believed in me, who has told me that I could do great things. The radical work that we do 
they think it's radical, but we don't think it's radical. We think that it's work that is necessary for us to continue to thrive and to exist. You know, as, as a Mexicana immigrant, I feel it, I see it. I see that, you know, gender justice is critical, but not without talking about racial justice. So gender justice and racial justice go hand in hand. What is happening in the world right now that makes me excited is Assembly Bill 2218, which is a Transgender Wellness and Equity Fund, which for the first time in the history of the state of California, a bill was introduced by trans people. And we did that. And so I'm just so excited for what is coming next. We, trans people are coming into our power Trans people are organizing, are mobilizing, and are breaking barriers. I mean, we just put a black female VP in the White House. Um, we really, really should be proud of that. And it was women that did that, women creating change. Um, that is exciting for me because it's a stepping stone towards a female president. I mean, we fought for the right to vote a hundred years ago and a hundred years later we have a female VP that is black, that is the daughter of immigrants. I mean, that is so close to me. The daughter of, of an immigrant is the VP of the United States. That gives me hope. Women marched, women voted, women raised funds, women are raising families. We are doing it all and we can have it all when we continue to fight for gender justice. And there's going to be a day to where we are going to be able to thrive, live and succeed without being marginalized.